In this video, I'll share and teach you how to use Pipedrive's sales CRM to get most out of it and to see step-by-step step how to use it, what is the, like, the base of it and how it actually works. Plus, I'm gonna show you an actual account inside of Pipedrive that I used to grow my business to 1 million plus a year. And this is gonna be interesting because these things you'll probably never see online. And I just wanna show you an actual example of this in real time. So this is the website of Pipedrive. As you can see, the CRM platform to grow your business. It is designed by salespeople for salespeople. But we use Pipedrive not only for sales, but also for customer success, because essentially it's like a CRM. Customer success, the same way. We still need to track activities. We still need to communicate with customers and we still need to know where our customers are in the journey so that we can help them better and uh, see where are some bottlenecks maybe in the customer journey so we can improve those things as well. Now, a quick question about pricing. It is from 20 euros to 120 euros. Uh, we typically pay, recommend monthly payments, but you can do it yearly, you can see the difference. And I will show you in my account, the professional settings, but as well, I would say in the essential, everything you need. And then as you grow, as you get more, uh, more people, team members, you can switch to more advanced plans. But in general, the essential plan is like great plan to work with it, work with it. And you can see like a couple of, couple of things that are not there, such as like email templates are in advanced automation builders, some things are in advance, okay? Now, you can make an account, but I'm, I will log into my account to show you how it looks. So, first things first, the left side of Pipedrive is the selection of things you wanna look at. They have a section which is called leads. These are people who are as leads. You can import leads, and you can import like a spreadsheet of things like here, like click leads and then just like import them, write the content information, the title, the organization and import everything here. Plus they have like tools called as lead bosters, such as a live chat, which you can add to your website. Uh, the live chat looks like, here is an example of how this live chat looks. So you just have it like this thing on a website. It says this prompt, you click on it, it's like virtual Nix AI. My name is Nix, so it's virtual Nix AI. And you can like answer some things and it will ask you some things. And in general, it will ask your name, your phone number. And then as the people do it, they become leads in Pipedrive so that our sales team can reach out and have a conversation with them. Okay. Then we have chatbots, web forms, prospector. Prospector, an internal tool to just get content information from databases with names, emails, phone numbers, and their occupation or the company they have. Website visitors, similar thing to prospectors, but this tool helps you to kind of identify people who are on your website with their information, contact information, so you can reach out to them. Pretty interesting. And then messaging is the integration with your uh, Facebook to have the chats in from Facebook, Instagram, within inside Pipedrive. So also a cool thing. Then we have the deals. These are the pipelines. This is the real thing you wanna look at. This is like the main thing. Then you have the option to do projects. This is again an add-on. They sell it again. It is just like project completion, project organizational tool. Then you have campaigns. This is like to make email campaigns. I currently use a different software for this, but within inside Pipedrive they have or email campaigns when you can make. You can make automated campaigns based on specific stages or based on specific fil filters inside of Pipedrive. And they have a lot of email templates, so it's kind of nice. Then you have sales inbox, which is you can connect your Gmail or other uh, email providers with Pipedrive so you can see all of the emails inside. Plus in every deal, which they call, uh, and deals. So let me just quickly share the structure of Pipedrive CRM. They are, there are deals and within these deals, there are contact information of the person, organization, and then you have a list of things you can communicate with the person. Like here is an example. You can put like notes, you can put activities such as like, did you have a call with them? Did you have a meeting with them? What are the notes of that particular action? You can schedule a thing. Let's say for tomorrow, we can schedule it. So this is like scheduled, right? And you can delete them. Uh, you can add that you did something. Why is this useful? And you can schedule it for different people. You can schedule it for yourself. You can schedule it for a team member. 
This is kind of cool. You can also, within Pipe Drive deals, you can also make outbound calls. You need to connect it with some software, but you can do it also in Pipe Drive. You can send emails, like from your own Pipe Drive, you can send emails, but you need, need this advanced plan to be able to do it, okay? You can send emails, you can have templates pre-done, pre so it's very fast, very simple. You can add files to this deal, you can add documents, and you can make invoices, but for invoices, again, you need to install some outside software to do it, okay? And then the main thing, how it is organized, this is in pipelines, so there are stages, and you wanna go from the left side to the right side. Let me give you an example. So whenever a lead comes in, in our company, they get into this stage, then if we have contact them, we have spoken with them, they are moved to the contact made uh, stage, then to the plan meeting, when we plan a meeting with them, then to a proposal stage, then we have a stage called deposit, which is sometimes people don't immediately buy, but they make a small deposit to save the offer, to save the price or something like that. And then they move to deal stage. Deal stage means they said yes. Inside of the deal stage, there's this option, which is they need to be won. So pipe drive has this, uh, one lost thing, right? Whenever a deal is won, the deal is won. So the deal is closed. There's like a specific thing that happens, like Piper has this like uh, emojis and stuff. Whenever a deal is lost, we you can add lost reasons such as this: not enough money, now is not the time to buy, we can't find, uh, we can help, found a different solution, doesn't have a business, doesn't pick up a phone. This also will give you information in the dashboard view, in the inside view, which I'm gonna show you. So you can actually see, like at the end of the month, you had like 500 leads, how many of them are, are deals, let's say 50, how many of them didn't buy, like 450, and then the reason why they didn't buy. And this information can be crucial for you to know how to train your salespeople, for you to know what to improve in marketing, and to see what's going on. It's very, very crucial information, okay? Next things, we do also a separate pipeline for customer success. So this is for our sales team. And then we have a separate one for client success. So this is amazing, right? So we have it set it up as soon as the customer buys, then we press this one button. Immediately, this same information in that particular client gets pushed to this pipeline, which is the client success pipeline, and our managers immediately know what happened with the client, what were the meetings, who met with them, what are the notes, because every customer who has a meeting with our closer team, they have notes such as, and the notes are in this section, you can see left side, so you can make fields, data fields, with information about the customer, so that it's like, so you can know. Plus, a cool thing, every lead gets a lead source. So we have a lot of lead sources, such as like organic on Instagram or ads from Meta or specific campaigns. We do it also for specific campaigns or for specific offers. So you can see here, there are many lead sources for us. You can see here, like a lot of them. Affiliates, giveaway clients or referrals. They're also sources. And then every time a customer signs up we have some zapier integrations and we use url parameters like this is a, a, like advanced thing to get also specific information about every lead such as the ad they saw the ad set they were in the placement did they see for example this client saw the ad in instagram feed this information is crucial because let me show you there's a sidebar called insights this is where you can do all of your like dashboards like nice looking dashboards so let me show you mine so this is like last month right i can see last month our team closed 54 customers the target was 50 so it's amazing our team did more than planned and then, and then here, here you, you can see, see Every, Every customer, customer has, has a lead, lead source. source. You, can you can see, see here, here. Cold, cold outbound, outbound direct, direct call LB, giveaway, giveaway, offer, offer direct, direct English. English. And, and then, then every customer has a tag. tag. You can, you see, can here, see here, a tag. And we, and we see, see from, from wh what, what, what ad set they, they came. came. And, and I can see, see we, got we got customers from Spain, from Sweden, from Belgium, from Ireland, from Germany. And what kind of ad got us those customers. This, this is, is crucial, crucial if you run, you run any, any sort of paid ads, ads or, or you have, have multiple sources of customer, customer acquisition, acquisition and this, and this just, just helps you to know where, where are they coming, coming from in real time, time so that you can make, make smarter decisions, decisions moving, moving forward. forward. Yes, and I was a little bit skipping ahead, but then the next thing after emails is the activities a sidebar. 
activities, you can see your own activities, you can see the activities for other people, you can also schedule activities. This is like a to-do planner, but it's always nice to have every time the next activity. For example, let me show you something cool. So here is a lead, right? Let's say I just call the lead, call uh, a conversation, right? Conversation. I select the type of activity, let's say it was yeah, like a conversation. We call it triage call. Then let's say I did it, save. See, done. Oh, you know what it does? It immediately plans the next activity. You know why? Because great salespeople always plan next activity for every lead, every customer. Also, the person didn't pick up, plan next activity to call them tomorrow. The person said, I'm not interested. Plan next activity after six months to reach out again. Ask them what's up, you know? Being professional at sales. And this software is like built for salespeople. So that's why I love it because I really, I, I like it a lot. It's really great. And then you can plan next activity for like tomorrow or you can plan it for yourself or you can plan it for someone else and you can put it like a type of it. So then later after activities, there's the contact like place. This is like nothing special. Just like you click on it and they had like every contact of every person, organization or like, the, let's not, nothing special. But then next thing is insights. This is the cool part. So what kind of things we can track here? So we track on a day, like on a daily, monthly basis, like you can see. So we got 54 closed deals. Our customer success dashboard, they can see 54 people reach this stage. You know why? Because we have, we've closed 54 people. Then how many of our customers got deals? You can see here last month, 34 of our customers got their first customer with our help. Amazing. Then we can see here. 31 people achieved uh, activation point three, in our case, 20 clients or 5K uh, collected, which is amazing. And then we have like this data. What other data we have? What kind of products did they buy? Who closed those deals? What was our sales conversion rate? Like how many activities did each of our people do? Like what kind of activities? What is the win rate from a lead to a deal? Like you can see here, we have like right now appro approximately the 3% win rate. So. Whenever we have 30 leads, one of them is gonna buy. It's gonna become, become an actual client who actually invests. Then for example, I think this is also cool. Then we have leads, daily leads. Like you can see here, we get from, from 30 to 50, sometimes even 90 leads per day. And you can see here the sources of these leads. And this is like every like day. You can see like every day, like in Christmas time, we a little bit turn it down, you know? And this is kind of cool. We have the average deals, deal cycles, and you can make these dashboards inside of this. Very simple. Plus a cool thing you can do is to put it on a TV. Like you can put it on TV, on a TV live. So you, whenever the team is working, they have a TV and they can see their data. This is very nice. The last thing here is marketplace. This is where you can do like automations, add some different software connected with Pipedrive, connected with Slack, connected with like Zapier, like all this mumbo jumbo stuff, okay? Not gonna go into this, but like a lot of stuff. And then here we have the three dots. You can set up autom automations. What kind of automations we do? So whenever a deal is moved to a specific stage, we have a specific action being made for that person. Let's say the closer moved a prospect to a proposal at this stage. Then we have an automated activity which says, hey, send an email of the pathway how we can help the client. This is like an automation, like create an activity to do this and the person is like, okay, I need to do this. So I do it. That's one example. And here you can have automatic assignments, which is if you have a lot of leads, you have a lot of people calling those leads or working those leads. So you can actually assign uh, like 50% of leads to this guy, 50% to this girl and like assign them, right? Very simple. And then in Pipedrive also there's option to add uh, make different products. So you can make a product X, product Y. That's also cool, especially if you're selling quantities, like let's say you're selling uh, wood, like like real wood and by ton or by square meters or something like that. So this also could help you a lot. You can make documents and you can connect them with apps as you can see here. And there's a bunch of settings. When you click on the icon, you click on company settings, you click on tools and apps, a bunch of settings, a bunch of things. You can go through and check it. Plus, also, I recommend just starting to use it. It's gonna be, take some little time, but it's really useful. It's really cool, I really like it. And I hope this video was sharing you some of the overviews. 
plus actually showing you an example of how it looks so you can have a much more clear understanding of what you actually can achieve inside of Pipedrive. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be happy to, uh, to answer or my team is going to get to you and answer your questions uh, as soon as possible. Stay sharp and I see you in the next video.